Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm making something super delicious, nutritious, and veggie as well. It is my Moroccan blanket pie. healthy, delicious, it is filled with so many vegetables as well, plus it's got some Moroccan seasoning on it as well, just to zest things up a bit too. So first things first, I just pre-cut my vegetables just to make this YouTube video a bit more quicker, because you guys don't want to see me dicing and chopping a whole lot of vegetables, so I've already done it. So what I've got here is some low carb potatoes. So I've got the Charisma potatoes. These ones are lower carb than your usual white potato, which is good. I've also got some chopped pumpkin, cauliflower, egg pan, I've also got some lovely juicy cherry tomatoes and I've also got a vegan sauce of protein which is chickpeas as well. Plus I've got some spice which I'm going to add in and also some light puff pastry. Puff pastry is higher calorie but you can get a light version which is a bit more calorie friendly so I'm going to use that as well. And then I've got all my ingredients too. So this is going to go in the oven so I'm just going to switch on my beautiful oven to 160 degrees and that is going to heat up right in there. I'm also going to turn my pan on as well because we are going to pre-cook the veggies so that they are nice and juicy. So first things first is I'm going to bring all of my vegetables over here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic and ginger into my saucepan. So I've got it right here. Garlic and also ginger and just let that heat up a bit as well. I've got a non-stick fry pan there so that is just all going to kind of simmer in there. Next step is I'm going to add all my vegetables in. So these veggies take a little bit of a while to cook because we've got the potato and also the pumpkin. So we're just going to pop that all in there, making sure not to spill any. And that is going to go in there. So our veggies are cooking slowly, as you can see. I've just also added in a little bit of water. So the next step is I'm going to add in our tomatoes. So I've just cut them in half, as you can see. So they're going to go right in there. I'll also give the veggies a bit more juice too. And then I'm also going to add in our chickpeas. So I've got a can of chickpeas right here. You don't have to do it with chickpeas, but I want to add a little bit of protein in there, so that is all in there as well. And then the last one too is I'm going to add in some Moroccan seasoning, so that is going to go right into my pan. And as you can see, just stir right through. And we're going to wait until that softens as well. Um, and then I'm going to show you the next step after that. So make sure you leave it on a medium heat and let that kind of simmer and saute for a bit as well. So guys, our veggies are all cooked. As you can see, come all over here with me. It looks absolutely delicious. As you can see, they are all softened as well. So the next step is making our pie. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put the filling into a baking dish. So we've got my little pink one. So me. And we're just going to pop that all in there. As you can see, it's great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So all of that is in there. I'm just going to pop this down. And I'm just going to spread it all evenly across my baking dish as well. So I've got a medium size one here. You guys can kind of pick, you do need a medium size one. I mean, it kind of depends how many veggies you have as well and how many people you're cooking it for. So this is for about four people. And then I've also got my um, puff pastries here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrunch them up and pop them on top. So I'm gonna try and make this as pretty as possible, although probably just taste is gonna be a bit better, but let's see how it go. So I'm just going to kind of put these together as so, like that, so, you should be like, I'm going to lay it there and then obviously just kind of bring it together as so, and then pop it on top. So I'm going to do that with three other ones, as you can see I'm very concentrating on this a lot guys. Going to look great. Do it across. So just bunch it from the middle. That's how I kind of do it. Bring it to the center. It's pretty good to me. Perfect. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I used three there. I thought I was gonna use four, but three was only needed. Ooh, that's really cool, I'm proud. Next one, I'm gonna grab <laughs> my little brush. I'm just gonna brush it lightly with some water. You can also add some oil in there as well. I might lightly spray it with oil just to crisp it up um, once the kind of pie is ready cooked. And then I've also got some sesame seeds. I love sesame seeds at the moment, so I'm just going to kind of sprinkle some on top. And as you can see, that is my blanket pie. So now I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for about 25 minutes, depending on your oven. As I said before, I put it on 160. So this is gonna go in. You can kind of tell by the pastry on the top how well it will cook. So let's pop it in the oven. Bye pie. So guys, it has been about 45 minutes and our pie is cooked. I'm gonna do a little bit of a trick there. As you can see, it is all ground on top. I actually just turned up the temperature for the last 10 minutes just to make that all crispy as well. This pie looks so delicious. I'm gonna pop it down. Oh my goodness, as you can see, it is all thoroughly cooked. It is very brown and all the veggies in there look super delicious as well. So this is my Moroccan blanket pie and I hope you guys love the recipe as well. It serves four. So per serving, I'm gonna give you the macros to make sure you guys write it down. Per serving, it is 25 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein, and 10 grams of fat. The fat comes from, obviously, the pastry, and also we did use a little bit of oil as well in the cooking of the vegetables, but only minimal. Just to let you guys know as well, when you use pastries, make sure you go for the light puff pastry. You do save a whole lot of calories, and we are very calorie conscious, especially because we want a low calorie pie. And we wanna make your favorite recipes healthy as well. So if you guys love this recipe and want to see more recipes, make sure you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are so many delicious recipes on there, such as peppermint cupcakes, there's going to be protein donuts, there's so many as well. And if you love healthy eating and want to broaden your knowledge on it, make sure you do subscribe to my website, laraguy.com. Plus, I do offer consults, meal plans, and also ultimate packages on that one as well. But apart from that, guys, my pie is done, and I'm so excited to dig in. Check this out, and check out my other YouTube videos as well. Hope you enjoyed that one, and bon appetit.